and to the people of Northern in particular and to the people of Anguilla in general. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Those are the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Good night. It is so good to be here tonight. I have fond memories right here in this district. I spent a good portion of my years right here in North Hill. The people here helped shape who I am today. The elders, such as Marjorie Gums, aka Dave, to Two Foot and Minky. Hubert Gums was my Sunday school teacher. And my brother Brian and I spent many days at Clive Carter's house. I want the I and Brother G left their mark here. Della and her calm disposition. Mandy, Butty, and Sammy Joe. Joyce and Aline were always great conversations. I played basketball right here on this court with Packer and Aristo and many others including North Hill's very own Merrick Prince Richardson. This is the area dominated by the Freebirds who defeated and crushed, crushed. Many memories, ladies and gentlemen. I know every bush path from the gut to Bunkton Hill to the point and beyond. It was North Hill where I gave my first political address. I will never forget the nervousness. The speech, written on yellow paper, delivered right in front of Mom Gat's shop. Oh, what a night. I was shaking, and to compound matters, Rasmus came out of Calabar and said, I better take him, don't come down here before he got done with a heart attack. <laughs> and so it was. I drew the walk down from the rostrum. Speech never finished. Memories. They don't live like people do. They always cling to you. But tonight is not about the past. Tonight is about the future. We are here tonight to lend support to our brother, uncle, mentor, and colleague, Mr. Merrick Prince Richardson. <laughs> It's the very first political rally on the march for change in 2020. It marks the year of change. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen of Anguilla, we look to the future because we are confident that Anguilla's future can shine brightly under the leadership of Dr. Ellis Lorenzo Webster and Team ABM. Gentlemen, this is what they call the silly season, and all manner of silliness will be spread about Team APM. They will make all sorts of ridiculous claims about the APM. But picture this look at the team, look at the caliber. If we were not a solid organization, would we be able to attract such candidates as Kennedy Hodge and Kimberly Fleming? Jerome Roberts, if we were not a stand-up organization that cares about you, the people of this country, would Courtney Morton resign his high-profile job to return home to represent the people of Valena and the people of Iguala in particular? If we were not a compassionate organization who cares about you, would we be able to stand here tonight with a man that has given so much to the development of the young men in that of Mary Richardson? Would we be able to attract the brilliance and commitment of the country that Prince Yagans Mary brings? If we 
did not care about the well-being of our people and reformation of our public health care system was Dr. Ellis Lorenzo Webster, a successful doctor, gave up so much to come back, to give back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if we were not an organization that is keen on reform of the public service, would Kenneth Hodge take all the retirement to run for higher office? So that the delivery of service to you, the taxpayer, would be improved by providing the sort of work environment and remuneration that the service is of. Kai Hodge, Kai Hodge, a young man with a young family and business that continues to give back, has stepped up to represent you, the people of this beautiful country as a candidate of the Anguilla Progressive Movement. If we were not a reputable and clean movement, would he join this movement led by Dr. Ellis Webster? Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it and don't relegate your thought processes to any politician or political supper singers. Think about it. Use your brain. Look at this team objectively and ask the question, would a young, globally accomplished athlete, lawyer, and the first ever Black Miss Universe Great Britain join this movement for change if she did not believe in you, the people of Anguilla, and the leadership that Dr. Webster and Team APM brings? Ask yourself, if Deanne Kentish Rogers, a young lady who has opportunities the world over, join this movement for change, if this wasn't a stand-up organization? <laughs> they may say that these young people should wait, but can you wait? No. Can you wait five more years? for improved and a better quality of health care? Can you wait five more years for education reform that takes into consideration all of our students? Can you wait five more years for better wages, improved services, and a real partnership between the public and private sector? Can you wait five more years for the kind of tourism strategy that will see real growth through diversified marketing, joint ventures with industry partners, and product development? Can you wait five more years for a track and field facility, recreational facilities, and more supervised after school activities for young people? Ladies and gentlemen of Anguilla, can we wait five more years for better banking services and policy initiatives that will enhance your quality of life? Will we continue to bury loved ones who should be right here with us? Why wait, Anguilla, when change can't wait? Can you wait five more years to stop the continued implementation of new taxes while your wages remain stagnant and the cost of living increases? Can we wait five more years to radically shift the focus on renewables and the mitigation of climate change? Change cannot wait, nor do. Change just can't wait, Anguilla. We are now in 2020, and the election can't come soon enough. In every district, in every district across this island, the mantra must be five votes, five votes.
game cannot win. And that is why this team here will commit to the work that was initiated by a man who resides right here in this district. The work of Mr. David Carty and the dream he envisioned must be realized if we are to strengthen this country as we move into the next decade and beyond. It was Mr. David Cobb who said, and I quote, what climate change is forcing us to do is to rethink our paradigms of development, end of quote. Ladies and gentlemen of North Hill, I want to say this to you tonight. I once saw an interview with Nelson Mandela was asked a question by Mr. Ken Adelman on the issue of Gaddafi, Castro, and Arafat, and why he was so friendly with those leaders. And Mandela responded by saying, and I quote, one of the mistakes which some political analysts make is to think that their enemies should be our enemies. I say that to say this. I know of long-standing political feuds that has nothing to do with our candidates and I. Those views remove any semblance of objectivity. And one of the things that APM brings and prides itself on is inclusion and objectivity. I have learned of the views between the last generation of politicians. And we cannot allow this generation to divide the people with vitriol and character assassination of people and their families. We believe, we believe that we do not have all the answers, neither do we have the monopoly on ideas. So when we hear of a great idea, we sit and discuss it to determine how is the best way to move this idea from an idea to reality. So as I listened to the idea promulgated by Mr. David Carty on the subject of renewable energy and other matters, I wonder why is it he is not placed in a position to make these ideas a reality? When, when I read of his idea of the Energy Transformation 2020, it was even outlined in the United Front Manifesto. I can only think that this is the vision of Mr. Carte. So what is Energy Transformation 2020? It envisioned a significant amount of energy emanating from solar and wind sources, which was result in falling electricity costs and the rise of electric vehicles, while giving Anguilla a leg up on the march to mitigate the fallout from climate change. This is a holistic discussion where we must come together to safeguard our future. We may be small and contribute very little to greenhouse gases, but our foray into renewable energy and sustainable development must be rooted in the people who reside here. It must be rooted in the preservation of Anguilla. An Anguilla that best days can be before us if we are serious about making the changes that are necessary for our survival and growth. The present administration committed in writing to the voters of Anguilla as their promise to champion energy conservation and renewable energy independence, develop and implement a comprehensive climate change strategy, yet another failed promise, another failure to develop, to deliver. We cannot wait any longer, North Hill. We cannot wait any longer, Anguilla. We cannot wait for sound government policies to be implemented and developed that are focused on the social and economic development of the people of Anguilla in terms of prosperity, health, education, and community. To wait any longer is tantamount to kicking the can down the road and at some point, the can cannot be kicked, and many will look back and ask the question, why wasn't anything done when you had that chance? We are ready, Anguilla. We are ready for an Anguilla reimagined. So as I close this evening, 
I'm asking you to vote for the change you deserve. I'm urging you to vote for Kimberly Fleming in district number seven. I am begging you to vote for island wide candidates Kenneth Hodge, Kyle Hodge, Kennedy Hodge, and the Queen of the Pack, Miss Quincia Gomes Marie. For real change, we must ensure that the end Kentish Rogers elect is elected at this time, at this moment in our history, because to put it off is to lose yet another opportunity for real change that just can't wait. People of District 3, what the most is the only logical choice at this time. You see, we have a team made up of persons who have the skill set to tackle today's issues. And Courtney's entry into politics could not come at a better time. Jerome Roberts is no stranger to you. He is one who has given so much over his last 30 years. He continues to work with young people in and out of office. And as a member of parliament, he's shown a bright light. He has tried, tested, and proven. And we are asking the people of district number two to put him back where they took him from. I have no doubt he was this way. I have often heard the cries of the people of District 1. They yearn for proper representation. One that is visionary, capable, and able. One who can bring about real change they deserve in that district. There is only one choice in District Number 1. And that is Dr. Ellis Lorenzo Webster. This is your opportunity to create history in District 1. Do not let it slide. This is your chance. This is our chance. To the good people of District Number 5, here is your chance to elect a humble man, a man of great talents who is unselfish with his time. A man who over the past few decades continued to mentor and work with the young men of this community and Anguilla at large. What if there were more of us like Merrick? Think about the lives we would have saved. But Merrick is more than just a community developer and teacher. Merrick is also a banker and an accountant. His vast experience in banking, accounting, management, and youth development is exactly the change we need at this time, at this critical time. Not just someone who will fly into your kitchen and open the pot if they decide to visit you and eat your food. We are we are now in the year 2020, the year of change. Are you ready for an Anguilla reimagined? Are you ready? A new decade has begun. It is time for reflection and change. A time for resolutions and goals. A time for planning and renewal. renewal. A time for change. In a few short months, the opportunity for change will be laid right before you. Right. You will be presented with a ballot paper, and on that ballot paper, there will be five names alongside five votes. You will have your district representative, and you will have your four island wide candidates. And we will do what is needed to enact change. We will vote down the ticket. Five votes! Five votes! Five votes! Five votes! So as we look over the horizon, we are all too aware 
of the changes that has to happen. And the only real chance that change is Team APM. I started with Dr. Martin Luther King. And it is only fitting that I end with him. In one of his now famous speeches, he said, we shall overcome. Right. To those who work in the hospitality industry and yearn for representation, we shall overcome. Qualified Anglians who have to watch as yet another work permit is granted, you shall overcome. Underrepresented entrepreneurs, we shall overcome. Island Harbor, we shall overcome. West End, we shall overcome. Sandy Hill, Sandy North, we shall overcome. Road North, Road South, we shall overcome. Not the book, because change just can't wait. Thank you, good night, and may God bless and will